Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this one, I'll be talking about two topics. The first is about dual booting on World Linux or on Linux in general. And then I'll be talking about removing old kernels on World Linux. So let's get into it. Dual booting on Linux should be straightforward. One of the most easiest and fail-proof way is to install Windows first and then install Linux. This way, Grubs takes over the boot sequence and everything gets in line pretty easily. Now, there are other ways like you can install Linux first and then Windows. In my opinion, doing same thing in Linux is much easier and straightforward. So, let's do a quick demo on that. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's assume a scenario where we uh, had Windows installed already and we just finished installing Word Linux and this is our first boot after setting up every all the environment. There's a simple command to upgrade uh, sorry update uh, grub menu which is sudo update grub and this should take care of everything in general. In my case I can see I have several uh, kernels installed some of them are old so uh, in the second part of the video i'll be taking them out because my current kernel is stable i have no issues so there's no point in keeping the old kernels and for the purpose of dual booting we have a warning here that says os prober os prober is basically a script that detects other operating systems on your uh, bootable partitions by default this tool is or this script is disabled and if you read the warning here it says we have to check this uh, line in the grip configuration now once we know what has to be done remaining of the process is very easy all we need to know is to uh, is the path of the grub configuration you can google up the path or you can use package manager as well so in my case i'll be for example for demonstration i'll be using xbps query and the switch i'm talking about or relevant for me is hyphen f it will show me all the files that are associated with grub package so let's do it now this is a big list and i can ignore 99 percent of it I don't need anything that is inside the share folder or library folders. Or the bin folder. I am looking for this file. Easiest would be to look up Google, but I'm only sharing the, the longer way you can say. So I'll copy this path for testing purpose that I'm looking to the right place. I will be using cat command. It will show me the text inside this configuration file. So I'll type cat space and the path. It seems that I'm in the right place and this is the line or the entry that we saw in the warning up there. So the next step would be to open this file using your favorite text editor. I'm going to keep it simple and use Kate. If you guys can see my kid, that's the line we're talking about. For now, it has been commented out, so it's kind of inactive. I'll remove the hash sign, save the file, enter my password, and that's it. Once I'm done with text uh, editing, I will go back to the console and I will run the same command that I did before to update grub. In this case now, you will note a change. So let's do it. Now, since we made the line active, the OS prober was executed. And as a result, we found Windows Boot Manager or a Windows Partition. And then it was added to our boot menu. So this is as simple as that. Now, let me talk about other topic, which is removing old kernels, as you guys can see here. In, Vo in Void Linux, there is a command called vkpurge, sorry. 
and the usage is to I want to see all the installed kernels on my system so I'll just do vk purge list and I have a list which tells me I have all the kernels installed on my system in some cases you may want to keep old kernels just for stability purpose testing let's say you recently updated your system and you want to make sure the new kernel is working fine in my case it's perfectly okay and I don't have a need to keep old kernels so what we'll do I will just remove everything which is outdated so I'll use sudo uk purge rm all and that's it this step is going to release some space from the boot directory that we initially set up during the installation phase it will take a while and then I'm done All right, everyone. So I believe the video was brief and enough to convey the message. Doing dual booting on Linux is very easy compared to Windows. In fact, it's not even difficult on Windows, but comparatively, I'm talking about. And then the top, second topic was about removing old kernels. It's a good habit to clean your kernels or the boot directory once in a while. Thanks for watching and goodbye.